Okay, welcome back to members of 121 Community Church in Grapevine, Texas, in our study in the first letter to the Corinthians by Paul, dated AD 56. We're going to look at our recall triad for chapter 2, 14 through 16 to uh, 3, 8, on how do we put on the mind of Christ. Let's take a look at block 1. We're going to take a look at uh, noon Christu. Paul says the sensate man does not apprehend spiritual truth, but the spiritual man transcends this sensate limitation that can only see foolishness. Therefore, in 2.16, the spiritual man is capable of apprehending spiritual truth because he has been known by the mind of Christ. And then in 3.6, Alexander Theu, the spiritual truth is bestowed upon us by God himself. So we receive the mind of Christ and it is a gift of grace from God himself. Now in block two we take a look at uh, Napiois Christo. Believers begin as immature spiritual people in Christ. New believers cannot comprehend a language of spiritual depth initially. New believers do not have the potential power to engage in spiritual dialogue in an in-depth way, not right away. Because spiritual knowledge and dialogue are acquired through the process of sanctification, for the believer we must mature in sanctification before we get to that point. And then in 3.7, it is the giving God who brings the new believer forward unto becoming a mature tois teleois eschatological believer. Our sanctification is due to God bringing us forward in maturity towards sanctification where we, we can become the mature eschatological people. Now in block three, the limitation of the lingering sensate mode of conduct is taken up. The sensate being of a new believer still lingers in the background trying to limit our spiritual growth the sensate individual is the old self that wars against the new mind which is trying to emerge. So putting on the mind of Christ is a struggle of spiritual warfare. However, uh, if you look at 3.8, we are rewarded from God. This is the way that Paul describes the life of the believer as a tois teleois eschatological believer. As eschatological believers, we are rewarded in ongoing sanctification, rewarded in knowing the deeper spiritual truth of, of the word in Christ. Paul says that is a life of reward or abundant life from God. And we do want to take a look at our four-point focus. Uh, you know, I took up this method when handling the N.T. Wright manuscript. This is the first time I've really used this method with a scripture study, but uh, let's take a look at our four-point focus. For Paul, the goal of the Christian life is to reach spiritual maturity as a member of the tois teleois, the eschatological new people of God, which emerges in three moments. We begin as anthropos pneumatikos. We begin as a spiritual person with a potential to perceive spiritual truth in Christ. Two, the sarkikoi anthropoi, a tois teleois, must negate the old self and repent from the previous sark's lifestyle of the flesh. Repentance is required. And then three, the tois teleois, by affirming the pneumatikos and negating the sarkikoi, will put on the mind of Christ. So our three moments, our recall moments, are really affirmation of pneumatikos, negation of, anthrop of a sarkikoi, and putting on the noon Christu, the mind of Christ. So affirm pneumatikos, negate sarkikoi, put on nous Christu, the mind of Christ. Affirm the spirit, negate the flesh, put on the mind of Christ. It's a great teaching, and it really is uh, 
kind of overlaps of the end of chapter 2 and the beginning of chapter 3. If you look at the triad on the, on the left, we began with uh, really that necessity to put on the new increase to the, the mind of Christ. And it's something that is bestowed on us by the grace of God. In uh, 3.6, we're told that. But we begin as an immature believer. In block two, we begin as an immature believer. We don't begin with full comprehension. We begin in a learning process. We begin in a process of sanctification. Then we live toward that horizon of becoming an eschatological believer. And that means we don't wait just for the returning advent of Jesus Christ. We look for the returning advent in every situation. It's not just a far distant event. If you are an eschatological believer, you look for the returning advent of Christ in every historical situation. What is the future of the kingdom in the situation that I'm in right now? What is the future of Christ's kingdom now in this moment? We don't look to the distant future. We look toward the immediate future in our immediate historical circumstance. That's what it means to be an eschatological believer. That's what it means to be a member of the tois teleois, the people living toward the teleology in Christ, the tois teleois. I like to say the eschatological people of God, you could say the teleo teleological people of God, but uh, I prefer eschatological people of God, those who live looking for the future of Christ in every historical situation, looking for the future of kingdom in every historical situation. So great teaching here. We're up through uh, chapter 3, verse 8. We'll pick up at 3, 9 in our next lesson.